Okay. I believe in sex and rock and roll. And also in Jesus. Jesus is Hi, I'm Todd Baker, and this is Seeing the Light. I'm Brittany Eustis. I'm Richard Rossi, and this is Seeing the Light. Hi, I'm Patricia Morales. I'm Charles Gargano. I'm Brittany Starkey, and this is Seeing the Light. This is a show that pits science against religion. Did God create man, or did man create God? I'm on the side of science. Where do you stand? I believe in God. I believe God is love. The Muslims flew airplanes into the World Trade Center and killed 3,000 people because of God. There's a creator, there's a universe, there's, there's a force. It's natural instinct to want to know why we're here, where we came from, what the hell is going on. There is something to be said about the power of prayer, and I would love to get to the bottom of that. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Blah, blah, blah. Bring it on, Richard. You want to hear God or you want to hear Todd? I believe um, in Jesus Christ. I really can't say that I believe in you or what you represent because I personally don't know you. Your <laughs> eyes are looking right at me. And right. You don't even know if I'm here. No. So no. the earth was created six, 7,000 years ago? That's what the Bible outline definitely gives us an indication of. If you're a black American and you believe in God, you're still not free. Well, it says in the Word of God, there's only one way into heaven. It said, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Oppression is not restricted to race. There's even more white and Hispanic slaves. Well, if you read the Bible, if you read the Bible, well, if you read the Bible... You... The reason I bring up blacks is because it's so recent. Do you think that Christianity was imported from Africa? So if you read the Bible, you'll understand where Lucifer came from. How do I get people to accept injustice? Promise them everlasting life. How about 72 virgins? Are you kidding me? Come on. Anything that's stated in the Bible, I definitely wholeheartedly stand on. We're in the Hollywood Hills today to find out what this little box is all about. It says pray it forward. I think it's awesome. It's kind of like pay it forward. It's people yeah. can come in and put whatever they want in there. They can take whatever they need from there. I saw you using the box here. What do you use it for? If there's any chance at all that maybe some particle in the galaxy is listening that just to keep me alive. I'm, I'm kind of an angry atheist, you know, I really okay. kind of, my parents were, were religious. Hi, I'm Josh Sussman and this is Seeing the Light. I'm going to take a prayer and read it. Cherish the moments. It's the evidence of science that led me to believe in God because you cannot get the complexity of DNA without a designer. I went to college and majored in chemistry, okay. and God kind of died in the chemistry class. Evolution talks about a process of mutation, survival to fittest, but it assumes you have a mutating replicator. It does not tell you how it came to exist. And, and science in, in itself is pretty much killing religion. And, and I realized after that debate that there's, there's very smart PhDs at Oxford who don't believe in God. And there's guys with PhDs that are really smart Oxford professors who do believe in God. And boom, 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 I'm about to be murdered. Saw the vision of God, you know, my dad. And I just said, OK, I'm just going to believe. There's a phenomenon I like to refer to as foxhole religion. We've all heard the old saying, there's no atheists in foxholes. It's true. Like, OK, God, I either I'm going to die, or I'm going to live, and I'm just going to trust you, and I'm straight fighting. Your fear has driven you into sort of a deeper, more authentic relationship with God. I mean, if bullets are flying over my head, guess what? I'm going to get religion, too. It's only natural. We all want to survive. And if we can't survive here, maybe we can survive in an afterlife. I don't believe in God just to rescue me from a foxhole or an addiction or a problem, although God's grace does do that. And then my mom got cancer. And um, I told God I wanted a divorce. I said, <laughs> I said, you know what? We're done. I hate you. Do you even listen to what I'm saying? You don't even care. Like, you know? And then I came to the conclusion that I was like in the mafia. I can't get out. <laughs> I know too much. Jesus is Bring it on, Richard. It's on. I wonder who's going to win, God or Todd. <laughs> You'll see the light. Get it, 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 get it,